Mandela Bay, let me uh, uh, bring in now into the conversation political analyst Ongama Mtimka. Ongama, thank you so much for joining me. So, it's, it, it, reading the uh, indictment, as it were, uh, of Mongameli Bobani in the form of the notice that was tabled by Councillor Stain, the things that it says about him, um, the uh, involvement in the uh, integrated public transport system, you're hearing the ANC saying that he was a tyrant who didn't listen to anyone in the dramatic visuals uh, of the number of hands that went up uh, when they were asked who supports this motion. What has happened here, uh, Ongama? How did the mayor who was uh, elected uh, in, the way, in the way that he was a few months ago lose favor with so many political parties across the aisle? I mean, they include the ANC and the DA. Uh, quite interesting, uh, uh, Tulas. I think it's a culmination of issues. It's the ultimatum uh, that is a, a intergovernmental, intergovernmental, where a provincial government has given an ultimatum to uh, the Nelson Mandela Bay Council, as well as the Treasury pressure around the accounting for the monies in the IPTS system. That put a lot of pressure on the political uh, players locally. To, to move on this. We know also that uh, the ANC and the Democratic Alliance have been in talks for a long time to, uh, to collaborate in removing uh, Mayor Bobani. Uh, that appeal seemed a and then on and off again. Uh, so that it has arrived uh, to this day, for me it's a combination of all of those factors the pressure at an intergovernmental level, uh, the, the political work between the ANC and the Democratic Alliance, even if it's, it's not a direct consequence of it, and also the fact that uh, you, you have now a business community that is no longer as excited about Bobani as mayor as they were about a few weeks ago when they had the hope that he was going to make right on a promise he had made to them. All right, because we don't have a great line there, Ongama, let me ask you then where this leaves uh, the metro. Uh, I mean, it's up in the air, isn't it? I mean, I heard uh, the ANC uh, talking about, you know, going forward, uh, basically a new process will have to be undertaken, and one imagines the kind of horse trading and uh, the machinations politically that will be uh, at play uh, in that regard. So <laughs> where does this leave us? Puts us in the same position as Joburg, by the way. Uh, and I think that it's going to be very difficult to form a majority coalition government. It may not be too, too far-fetched to envisage a situation where people rally enough support to be uh, ahead of their opposing or a, a, a grouping, but not enough to actually have a government that will, be, uh, that will have a majority. So we may have a, a minority support in party situation or even a coalition of parties who are a minority but are governing uh, the, 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 the city here. Overall, Ongama, the, uh, your, your assessment of the impact of these coalition arrangements, um, uh, you know, the one side being that they introduce instability that, that makes it difficult to govern with any certainty in any of these big metros and therefore not so great for our system of democracy. On the other hand, being uh, the introduction of the insecurity of tenure. What's your assessment? Are they good for our democracy? Are they not good for our democracy? They are challenging, but what we must acknowledge is the fact that South Africans are increasingly undecided about their vote, and we cannot try to make that neat. Uh, what's required is the maturity on the part of political actors, be they individual political employees or the parties themselves, to be matured enough to understand that the time for zero-sum politics is over, but also that you need a lot more competences uh, by, of managing relationships and complex and ambiguous power configurations than it would have been under the ANC as a, as a single party or any other party for that matter. So coalitions are not easy, but that's, we must respect the decisions of residents in these various cities who are saying we are not comfortable enough with the party we've been given a majority 
Now we're comfortable enough with the potential alternatives. So we must just work with the voters uh, uh, to us and, and, and mature enough to be able to manage the relationships, difficult as that's going to be. And for me, I don't think that this is going to be, uh, you know, resolved anytime soon. I can see the South African voter being undecided till about 2029 when new power configurations and new political offerings are there for them to actually make, their, their, make up their minds. Some countries live with coalitions for decades. Always crisp and incisive in his analysis, Ongamam Timka uh, joining us via Skype. And thankfully the line improving just enough there to get his uh, views and his thoughts. Uh